In this video, we will see extracting of raster values to points. So we will use library raster. So load this library and then set the working directory to your desired folder. And since my raster bands are in the same directory, so I am directly reading this bands. Like you can assign any name. I am I am assigning like B2, B3, B4, B8. These are sentinel bands. Now we will create a layer stack of B8, 4, 3 and 2 in sequence. You can have any sequence and then we can plot it using plot RGB. So this is my data and then names you can see band 8, band 4, band 3 and band 2 it has taken. Now we can rename if, if required, we can rename. So since this is NIR data, this, this is red band and this is green band and this is blue band. So I have named accordingly. So for naming it, just use name and this stack in, in bracket and then you have to make a list of names like this. And then now we can see the new names as NIR, red, green and blue. Because we are going to extract the raster values, so the column names will be like this now, NIR red. Otherwise it will be band 8, band 4 like this. So if required you can change the name. Now we will read the location, means point files. So for reading save file, this is the function save file. So I am assigning name as locations. So this is the formal special data frame you can see here it has been created. Now we will plot this location file on this plot of itself. So for that you plot the location add is equal to true you have to write so that it will be added to the same plot. And then I have written the color is equal to yellow you can change any to visualize the point in yellow. So now I am running it. So these are the point locations. Now before going for extracting the values both the raster and the vector should be of same projection system otherwise you cannot even plot the vector on top of the raster so here itself you will get an error if they are not of same projection system but always we can compare the projection system with compare crs function so i am comparing the coordinate reference system of stack and the location so run it so it is true means both are similar. Now we will extract the values. So we, you have to use the function extract and then first you have to write the stack means raster raster data and then the point data. And then you, you, you can see the method is bilinear. Default method is nearest neighbor and you can change to bilinear also. Then we will see the differences. So if you are running the extract function you see the values are in integer because all the data are in integer and it is using the nearest neighbor by default so it will be integer values and suppose we are going for bilinear see now it is not an integer because it is taking the mean of neighboring pixels also so we will get these values as some object means we will assign these values a name since it is a temporary variable so I have assigned x to this these values so i'm just extracting these values as x now i we have to join this x to our save file so for that c bind you have to use c bind then location this is the save file point file and then this is the extracted value so just run this now you see the names and you see header of this new save file database so this is having id nir red green and blue and all the values are there you can see exactly the new points here also now we have save the newly created save file we will use function save file the new points this one we have just created after joining the extracted value to the save file and we are naming new locations dot save and override is equal to true i am writing because 
already I have created it. It will be overwriting that same file. So run it. So this is how we can we will extract the raster values to points. One more option is there. Suppose you want not only the one pixel or by linear, you want suppose suppose mean value of a buffer around the locations, each location. So for that you can use a argument buffer is equal to suppose up to 100 meter I want means 100 meter buffer you have to create and it will be assigning the mean of all the pixels falling in that buffer. So for that we have written buffer is equal to 100 and function is equal to mean. We can also check it change the median or mode. So run it. It will be second, taking some time more time because it will be creating buffers and extracting the all values and mean it will be calculating. So once extracted now same process we have to do. We have to combine this extracted values to the locations means point save file. Then now you can see the names and headers. So the values will be changed because we are take, we have taken mean of the pixels falling under 100 meter buffer. So again we can write it to save file. Suppose new locations underscore buffer I am naming it. Now suppose your if you are comparing your projection of your raster and vector and those are not the same. So in that case we have to assign the projection of the raster to the vector. Means we have to transform the projection of the vectors to the projection of raster. So how to do that? That also we can see here. So now I am having one the same shape file in in VCS projection system. So that we can read here and then now I am comparing the stack and this location 2. So it is giving the result as false means the projections of raster and vector are not similar. So for assigning the CRS of stack to point file so we will use SP transform function and then the location 2 the save file and proj for string of stack means this is the raster data so run it now we will again compare it the stack and the the new one location to utm now it is true so again same same procedure we have to apply we have to do like extract with location to utm then join the values extracted values then see the names and values and again you can name it you can save it to the folder if you want so this is how we can extract multiple raster values or single raster value also you can extract so there you will not need to stack it so we have learned extracting raster values to points and if the projection is not similar how to transform it the projection and then extract and then also extracting by a buffer. So thank you for watching.